Hello, my name is QJ. Welcome to my channel. I am here with a box of Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in Forgotten Realms set booster to open. And um, I'm uh, going to be opening this for some customers uh, as part of the pre pre sales program. And um, pretty excited. It's it looks like a very fun set. It's um somewhat. Uh, Definitely feels less exciting after coming in from Modern Horizons 2, but uh, as a D&D fan, this is uh, this has been a very good looking set, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Let's see some chats, but they are not showing up. Uh, hello, 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 Amos. Uh, I see your chats. I'm not sure why they're not showing up on the um the screen but uh hopefully it shows up soon let's see if it let's see if this helps oh there we go <laughs> uh yeah hi Amos hi uh hi Bunny hi Crystal hi Im uh yep Let's see, I have my list here. I'm gonna start. Uh, so we have Mr. Magic, Hafiz, Shazli, and Mr. B uh, sharing this box. To be honest, I got hyped by the Commander deck. That's what MH2 can offer. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Hello, Shaz. Thanks for trying to stay on as much as possible. So let's just get started. Um, I have a request from Hafiz to shuffle up the packs, so we're just gonna do right that. I'm gonna take out the packs first. So just count two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirty. So that's thirty packs. Get the box out of the way. And uh, I'm just gonna mahjong this. Toss it up. Real nice. Six, seven, ten, hello, Avis. Thanks for joining Demilich and Buku. <laughs> The bukus are quite popular, that's for sure. Alright, um, so we're gonna start with Mr. Magic. Um, three slots, each slot is three packs. There's a total of nine packs for Mr. Magic. And uh, let's get started. Oh, Imarif is a pretty good card. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's get started. So we start with the art card. Contact other plane. Uh, planes with flavor text. Ooh, a showcase card from the get go. And uh, let's see here. I think it's three commons, I believe. We start with three commons. One, two, three. Yeah, Tiamat is uh, also pretty expensive. Three uncommons. And then two wildcard slots. So we have uncommon in the first wildcard slot. Two uncommons. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so uh, for Mr. Magic, right from the get-go, we have a module, a showcase land. I think it's pretty good. And um, there are a lot of people who aren't a fan of this uh, border. But there are a lot of people who are actually quite a fan of these borders. So... Ooh, okay. Uh, first pack has a list card, which is a Gigantosaurus. Um, has been pretty popular. I I have not been able to hold stock for this module lens. 
um, something to take note of if you are a collector yourself and you're wondering whether or not you want to uh, let go of the this uh, the module um, that's what they call the books right and the modules uh, cover lens um, yeah I haven't been able to hold stock uh, I did I didn't open a lot but um, anything that I have I, I just sold so yeah why is Tiamat expensive? Uh, it's just very popular. It's just a very popular character. I mean, um, it's someone is is a character that's very significant in 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 Forgotten Realms. Plus, um, you know, it's a cool card. It's dragon, so naturally, that those get a lot of attention. I think that's it. Really, it's not it's not terrible. It's pretty strong still. Alright, um, showcase, three commons, three uncommons, ooh, wow, okay, um, so yeah, so there is two wildcard slots, and I believe this is a, straight away a rare in the wildcard slot, and a very expensive one too, Skia's Cradle after all, is that triple rare, oh wow, what a pack, wow. <laughs> These two are wildcard slots, so it could be common. This one can be a common, and most uh, most of the time I see common and uncommon. It's the first time I see rare in this slot, uh, of all the boxes I've opened. It's the first time I see a rare here. And this one is sometimes a rare. So this is double rare. And then in the regular rare slot we have Wolo. So yeah, what a, what a very nice pack. Triple rare in a row, we don't have the fourth rare, and a dungeon card too. So yeah, um, nice start for Mr. Magic. That would be his uh, slot. Now, gonna be third pack. Third of nine. There is no four rares though. It's um, The fourth rare probably comes from this slot. So after the after the art cut, you have the basic land slot, and then you have a showcase slot, which can be a rare. Right, this will be, it can be a rare, and then will be three commons, then three uncommons. So set boosters are great if you're looking for uncommons. So after the three uncommons, we have two, uh, wild card slot. So this is the first wild card slot. So most of the time, this is going to be common. And sometimes I'm going to uncommon. I this is the like the last pack was the first time ever that I've seen a rare come out from the first wildcard slot. And then the second wildcard slot. So this time it's just a common. Then we have the rare slot. <laughs> a regular uh, frame den of the bugbear this time. And the foil common. And a dungeon. So yep. Uh, Mr. Magic just got both the normal version and the uh, module showcase version of it in the same slot. Alright, that's slot one. So we're gonna go ahead and go for uh, pack number four and slot two. <laughs> Alright, so we have a uh, Basilic art card this time. Cool. The DD stats. Foil planes. Never winter dry it. So three commons. Renault, three uncommons, black dragon. So first wildcard slot uncommon. Second wildcard slot uncommon. Rare slot is long rest. And Manticore in our foil slot. And no list. Right. Um, should I do this? One, two, three. Pack two of slot number two for Mr. Magic. Veteran Dungeon. So this slot has a potential of getting a rare, but this time it's common. Three commons. Three uncommons. Oh, this is this is a very good card. Been very very impressed by this card. Uh, so common and common in wildcard slots. 
Rare slot is a adult gold dragon. Um, non D and D fans. D and D fans are pretty used to the naming conventions, I guess. But um, non <laughs> magic, uh, non D and D players uh, have been has been you know exclaiming like, what what's what's with this name? Like, what can you do, right? <laughs> So have a plummet in the what slot and a dungeon. All right, uh, pack three of slot two for Mr. Magic. So for Mr. Magic, uh, the last pack for slot two he has one more slot coming up. So uh, three more packs after this one. But uh, for Mr. Magic, starts with a Foy Island Manticore. Showcase one in every pack, guaranteed. Um, three commons, three uncommons. First wild card slot is an uncommon, followed by oh okay. So this uh, treasure chest coming out from the wild card slot. That means we have one more rare in the rare slot, which is a wish and. Uh, Foil Legend. Ooh, nice foil. It's not a rare, but it's a pretty cool character. Cradles of Baldur's Gate. And now list card is ah, no list card. So that's pack number. That's pack number three. Which is a recap. Not as exciting as slot uh, one for Mr. Magic. So Mr. Magic's uh, second slot is has four rares. The first slot for Mr. Magic is awesome. It's like a pack with triple rare, including the new cradle, a regular den, and a showcase den. All right, now we we'll move on to uh, slot three, the last three packs for Mr. Magic. Pack one is going to be. So we'll start with a go, another foil basic. It looks like a borderless card. A green dragon borderless. Cool card. But I still think that it's probably just for limited play. It's very strongly limited. I don't really see much potential for constructed play. Right. Uh, three commons, three uncommons. Our first wild card slot. Common. Second wild card slot. Ooh, ranger class. In this wall card slot, that means we have another rare. It's a legend, is it? Where is the Tarasco? Here we go. Maybe we should get rid of the chat box and the black text box at the bottom. Kind of tacky. <laughs> I, I like I like reading text. I, I like reading the chat from you all. Right. Uh. So a very nice start for Mr. Magic for his uh, last slot. <laughs> Belfry Spirit is not what we're looking for in the list, but mm. <laughs> all right, pack two or slot three. Oh, Mr. Magic Displacer Beast. I think these are are very nice uh, cuts for D and D players. We go. <laughs> uh, so that's the showcase uncommon. We still haven't seen any showcase rares come out from the slot, nah. No? Uh, three commons, three uncommons. First wild card, second wild card, both commons this time. True polymorph is our rare. We still haven't seen a foil rare as well. This card, no this card. Alright, so last pack for Mr. Magic. Last pack of the last slot. And the last pack overall for Mr. Magic. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely like this one. <laughs> so Mr. Magic got both the Tarask uh, actual card as well as the art. Monster manual card. Pretty cool. And uh, Fairy Death is our showcase. 
One, two, three. I don't think he. I don't think Mr. Magic needs a clutch here. It's been a pretty nice, um, pretty good uh, box break. There we go. Another extra rare. See, Mr. Magic's been getting a lot of uh, extra rares in his wildcard slots. Sorcerer's class. Uh, showcase foil. Iron golem. Nice. And the last one. No list. Right, that's it for Mr. Magic. <laughs> 776. Well, yeah. It's it's a task. Of course. Of course, it's big boy. Alright, uh that's it for Mr. Magic. Thank you very much for your support, Mr. Magic, and making this box break possible. And uh hope you will be pleased with what you have opened so far I think it's pretty good I think it's a very good um, break from Mr. Magic and uh, we are going to move on to Hafiz thank you for your patience as we will start Hafiz breaks um, also three slots so we're gonna start with here we go random pack Well, the showcase in particular has been uh, pretty mixed. It's similar to the sketch, the sketch cards from MH2, right? The people who love it, love it. The people who who really love the whole throwback to the monster manual, love these. And then the foiling as well because of the the, the background color uh, frames, right? It, it makes it it makes it pop in a different sort of way and uh, there are there are a lot of fans for that yeah kind of kind of mix the response has been quite mixed so first pack for uh Huffins. that's the showcase now three commons three uncommons mm. monk got the open hand you need that for bahamut uh first wild card is a common second wild card another common so the rare slot we're gonna see oh oh hello Drizzt um very nice start for Hafiz very very nice start for Hafiz getting a uh, showcase Drizzt from the get go and uh, we're gonna see foil foil common so we haven't seen any foil rares yet. <laughs> Um, still waiting to see the foil rare. Any list card? No list card. Yeah, yeah. It, that's why I mentioned the the sketch cards from MH2, right? There's a you you have you have a a part of the player base who really loves it, and a part who doesn't. Oh, okay. So, um, with Tiamat, the art card. Hopefully, that means that we'll see the real Tiamat showing up. Hopefully, maybe. Baleful Beholder is in the showcase slot. So there's a chance of getting a rare in this slot, but we still haven't seen any from there. As far as I know, at least. Three. Oh, my, I might be wrong. Three uncommons. So, first wildcard slot, common. Oh, okay. Asmodeus uh, has quite a bit of value, I believe. Because uh, you know, there's still that line. Three mana, draw seven cards. But yeah, it requires you to jump through some hoops. But um, <laughs> uh, right. So that's this is in the wild card slot. So we have one more, the regular rare slot. It's gonna be a skeletal swarming. And for a common feign death. And uh, Burning Bowls is our list card. Alright, um, pack 3 of slot 1 for Harvest. Another um, Monster Manual Stout Art Card. <laughs> Planes. 
Battering Skeletons is our showcase. Three commons, three uncommons. Oh, question. Uh, first wild card, common. Second wild card, common. And now uh, rare slot is a legendary. White. Oswald. It's sort of um. Tutor effects has always been uh, quite powerful, so won't be surprised if this card becomes expensive uh, once someone figures out how to break the deck. And we have a foil uncommon, no list on this pack, and uh, that is that is the first slot done. And we're gonna go for the second slot for Hafiz. Atin Mountain No Hunter Showcase Three Commons Three Uncommons Magic Missile Uh first Show Wild Card second Wild Card now the rare slot is Raid Minion of the Mighty Foil, oh, okay, foil showcase. Ah, just a common. Oh yeah, some people really like. See the color, the color indicator, the 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 green, the green background. Some people really like this for this reason. Yeah. Right. That is uh. So we have uh, five more packs for Hafiz. It's a lobby, you don't meet the roper. Yeah. Oh man, this set though, this set, it's it's really bringing back a lot of memories. I only played three point five though. It's where I started, and uh, it's all, all I mostly played. Uh, 3.5 edition. 3 commons. 3 uncommons. First wild card. Second wild card. <laughs> RGB on your cards. <laughs> uh, rare slot is going to be. Ooh, okay. Um, this is a popular and. Kind of expensive right now, I believe. One of the more one of the cards that has uh, quite a bit of value. Tasha's hideous laughter, very powerful spell. And the foil is a powered kill, nice. And uh, no list. Eight. is uh should be pack number two in slot number two bling dog the pack number yeah pack number three in slot number two so pixie guide three commons <laughs> Three uncommons. I mean, it's a meal card, right? It's uh, it's dependent on who you're playing against, but the fact that it hits each opponent, it's pretty evil. Unt Malison and the foil. I still haven't seen any foil rares. Where are the foil rares? Alright, um, that is slot number 2 done for Hafiz, so we're gonna go for the last slot, let's shuffle this about a bit, the last slot for uh, Hafiz, last 3 packs, let's go, I mean, don't, I don't really have to explain why this is good, right? It's so painful to be on the receiving end of it. Ooh, there we go. Our first stamped art card. Oh, 
Mountain from Sarah Finnegan. Yeah, all slots are taken. One, two, three. I believe um, Toby is also uh, uh, Toby also has uh, has um, box breaks slots open if you're interested. So three uncommons next. First wild card slot. Second wild card slot is a red dragon and our rare slot. Westgate Regent. Ranger Hawk Foil. Great. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> you don't like the music? I thought it's kind of nice. That's pack number seven. Now pack number eight for Hafiz. Ooh, wow! Uh, borderless red dragon. They look amazing. I just don't feel like they have much constructed use. Thank you very much for your feedback on the music. Three commons. Three uncommons. First wild card slot. Second wild card slot. Our rare slot. Ooh, uh, borderless. It's a. Uh, looks like a uh, legendary. Icing Death. Wow. Okay. I uh, hope you're happy, Hafiz. Um, our first Borderless Mythic of the box for Hafiz. Very, very, very cool card. Very, very nice looking in person. So much more cooler than uh, looking it. Edit. It's a, and our foil slot. It's a common. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice one, Hafiz. All right. Um, this should be the last pack for Hafiz. Been three, six, nine. Yep. So number. The number lines up. Very, very last pack for Hafiz. Before we move on to Shazli and Mr. B. <laughs> last packs showcase. Last packs are uh, three commons. Three uncommons. Our first wild card. Second wild card. A rare slot. Is a Forsworn Paladin and oh wow, okay. I think this is our first foil rare. Our first foil rare is Zalto Fire Giant Duke 5 mana 7 tree trample. Whenever it's dealt damage, venture into the dungeon. It's um, wow, <laughs> okay. For a showcase for Hafiz to wrap it up. What a nice slot. Uh, last three slot for Hafiz. Very, very nice. And uh, earlier slot. And the first slot, including the showcase drizzard. Thank you very much, Hafiz, for making this stream possible. I hope you are pleased with your box break. And. Uh, we are going to move on to Shazli's three packs. I mean, um, six packs, two slots before wrapping up with Mr. B's last uh, two slots, which is also six packs. All right, pack one for Shazli, who uh, I believe just tuned out for his own live stream, unfortunately. But um, timing wise, what can we do? A bullet to start off with. Three commons, three uncommons. First wild card, 
second wild card. Our first rare Werewolf Pack Leader. And oh, uh, nice foil to kick off. Looks amazing. Look at the, <laughs> look at the fire effect. Jeez. Look at the fire effect from the. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this reflection. Uh, but yeah, very nice foil. <laughs> very efficient removal. If you're playing dragons. And uh, the slot, no list. Second pack for Shazli. Shesha. Death's Whisper is our showcase card for this pack. Three commons. Three uncommons. First showcase. Second showcase is a rare. We have a regular looking Zalto here. And uh, because this is from the wild card, we still have our regular rare. It's a hand of Wagner. The spoiler foil common. No list. Eight. Number three for Shazli. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uncommons. First wild card. Second wild card. Old Norbone. Very expensive right now. Uh, I hope he's pleased. And he looks at the archive later. And uh, foil. Oh, our second foil rare of the box. Skeletal swarming. And <laughs> Noggle Hitch Mitch to wrap up. Right, that's uh, first three packs. And uh, next three packs for Shazli. Rider. Beautiful Beholder. Three commons. Three uncommons. Look at the <laughs> the flavor text. <laughs> so first, second, third uncommon. First wild card. Second wild card. Uh, rare slot. Hot Goblin Bandit lot. Foil, common, no list. It's a dungeon. Um, should be two more packs. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Last two packs. Yeah, I would like to see a Tiamat. I would very much like to see a Tiamat. Looks like we have a showcase. Uh, a module land. It's a Temple of the Dragon Queen. Module cut in the showcase slot. Three commons. Three uncommons. Ooh, wow. Okay. As a, I I haven't seen the rare in this slot uh, for very for. I have never seen a rare cut in this slot until today, and it shows up twice in this pack. <laughs> and uh, second. Oh, okay. So it's another triple rare. Wow, alright, so first wildcard slot, second wildcard slot is the Dragon Turtle. And the third wildcard slot is Spear of Annihilation. Very nice. Triple rare pack. I don't think this is supposed to happen that often, but um, there's two of such of these packs in the same box. Wow. Okay, and the foil common. No list card. Um, there's no much point in trying to keep track of the list, it's just way too big. It just just like whatever whatever comes out whatever comes out man don't 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 have to think too hard about it all right um very last pack for Shazli yep 
uh, just double checking on the remainder packs we have six packs left which is all mr b's and uh here we go last pack no more random and six oh that is sad no more random and six one two three comments critical hit guilty teen year century first wall card is unexpected windfall followed by thieves 2 <laughs> now rare slot is a uh, eye of wagner so we have a hand of wagner and we had the eye of wagner yeah so so far we had a hand and the uh, eye so i guess we're just missing the book and uh, foil common <laughs> akbong slip as our list card all right that's it for uh shazli's two slots thank you very much shazli's for making the box break possible i hope you will be pleased it's not uh it's pretty good i would think oh Norbon is quite expensive i think like one of the most expensive cards in the set and all so yeah <laughs> uh, I guess uh, let's head on to uh, our last two slots for Mr. B thank you very much Mr. B for your patience I know it's been a long wait but um, we are finally opening your packs and uh, here we go uh, foil forest to start bullet three comments Green Dragon, Wandering Troubadour, you happened upon a glade. <laughs> first common, uh, first wild card, second wild card, and our first rare for. Ooh, here we go. This is um, this is a very good card, in my opinion. Definitely up there in the uh, um of the number of cards that I would want to see being opened it's a very powerful card which I think is going to have an uh, impact on multiple formats so yeah yeah it's a dragon kin it's a dragon kin so <laughs> Alright, and our foil is a foil common and <laughs> a gutter snipe hot cut. So very nice start for Mr. B. Second pack for Mr. B, let's go. Telecedra. Three commons. Three uncommons. Well, they don't have the deal 20 damage ability. <laughs> but yeah, you, those yeah, those are those are great card. It doesn't make this card any less worse. Ooh, okay. So we have a hive. It's an extra rare rogue class and a wizard class foil. Uh, no list, but double rare pack. go pack three Russ monster so let's cut three commons three uncommons first wild card second wild card our rare slot is oh first planeswalker grandmaster of flowers in other words bahamut very nice so lucky mr b two mythics in three packs and <laughs> a prismatic geoscope as a list card 
Alright, uh, pack number 4 for Mr. B. Start with a... Uh, art card for... Ginny wins here. Interesting. Mimic. Three commons. Three uncommons. First wall cut. Second wall cut. Rare. Bart class. Foil. Common. No list. Alright. Uh, but class is pack number four. Now we are pack number five. Visit art cut. Oh wow. Okay. Um, evolving walls. Showcase frame. Modio frame evolving was surprisingly popular to me. I mean, I'm I'm surprised it's how popular it is. Um, I'm all sold out of this. <laughs> Two, three commons, three uncommons. Um, so we have the first wild card, second wild card. Rare is Paladin class, and our Foil, it's an uncommon and no list. Alright, the very last pack for Mr. B and the very last pack for the box. Time to see. No Tiamat, no book. Alright, let's find out what is in our last pack. Looks like a mimic. Three commons. Three uncommons. Eight. Uh, Master Core is our first wild card. Second wild card. And our last rare slot is. Oh, hello, Minx. So we have Minx. <laughs> the very, very popular Minx and Boo as our last rare from the box. And oh wow, and a foil rare to go with it. Nice foiling on the sword. Very nice. And a dungeon cut. All right, not bad at all. I think it's pretty good for six packs. Um, seems pretty evenly split in terms of cut quality across the box. I hope everyone's pleased. Thank you very much, Mr. B, for making this stream possible. Hope you like um, what I managed to open for you. Uh, that is it for this stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I will be back. I have, um, I do have collector boosters to open on stream, uh, hopefully soon. But um, that's it for this box. Thank you everyone again for watching. Thank you everyone who made the box break possible. Thank you very much for the sharers. And um, hope to see you soon on the next stream. <laughs> yeah, Boo's, uh, Minx and Boo is, is a pretty cool card. So I'm very happy in how they managed to translate it into the cards. But um, yeah, until next time, uh, which I hope to see you again. Uh, please stay safe, take care of yourself, take care of everyone around you and uh, I hope to see you in the next stream.